Let's go this way, there's all the... Oh, cows! Mm -hmm. 
Come on, Z, let's look at the cows a second. Must be the breed.
had your 50. Oh, that's better than buying buy nine grand. Go around the front. Steam, wasn't it? on those military stuff a second.
I'm Colin, I'm the events organiser. You can see that uh, our lovely band of tractor pullers and uh, helpers, assistants, etc., have uh, aligned themselves on the track. And uh, this is for a uh, one minute silence. Uh, sadly, a few months ago. Uh, Good to see a gentleman called Mark Tracy and his good lady here today. Just staying local or did she travel down from... You're as stupid as the rest of us, aren't you? Yeah, Held the record for a building the quickest board of a minute for the world. Good for a week. Oh, good drive, Mark, with a rough bit. events organiser now. Well 
radio signal to say just how many revs they were pulling when they went down the track, but that has never come. The fruition, we rely on the driver. Come on, get that boost in there. Where are we going? This way? big one. Mm. Mm. Look at these fluffy ones out there. Mm. 
thieves. Eh? It's looking easier his first one. He did say this event would be easy for him. Big Jack up next. Okay, he's all set, Jack. Come on. Position set. Good left, easy work. He's happy with that. So one, three, five, season will allow you a little bit. And it's a bit of a safety thing, but I'm very set down just for the team. Normally when we do this for a we'll get someone to come out and measure it. And make it nice and fair. And these guys will just send it in nice and fair. And we'll try and make it stop now. And we'll have a five or seven. Bronze out, seven in the middle. There we go, all right then. So it's one nil Zach at the moment. Zach won the first seat. Charlie's going to have to go something to catch him up. The guys, I'll start being the easy way. Stands in timber. Three, two, one, go! 
Okay then, so as you can see, these boys are going to use as much of that soil as possible, trying to use every single tooth on the floor. That's going to really punch it for the handle, yeah? Hey, Charlie's going well, is that still trying to catch him off? Charlie's going really, really well, yeah? Oh, a little hand up there for Charlie. Okay. Oh, Zach, keep on going. Zach's going to tell us now that one third starts sitting there. There we go. Up below, we've got the current women's British, so the current British champion, we've got Zoe. And these two are going to race up against each other in the top So the name of this is there are markings on the wood. They get, um, you can see Jack here just putting a little mark on his own. But they get 100 mil of wood, or 10 centimetres of wood, and they get, they get two complete cookers off. Okay, so they've got out there. The saw will be started, so we're going to let these guys warm up the saw. They're going to get 15 seconds, and then they'll get the, they get the start. So guys, when you're ready, warm up the saw. Okay, start to your timber. Three, two, one, go! Good. Jack, Morris, where's young Jack? Three. Three. What? I don't know any other languages. Barely know English. Jack, you're uh, yeah, you've been chopping well, haven't you? Oh, there's a plate. I'm gonna put you on three. All right. Oh, there's a plate. Let's see if right then, boys. Oh, if we're all ready, let's do it. I started off in the usual fashion, so it's axe Stand to your timber. Go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And they're all the way now, ladies and gentlemen. Cheer them up. If you're the one in the middle of there, cheer on for Jack. Middle there, cheer on for Michael. Right at the top end there, cheer on for George. And Jack's gone round, ladies and gentlemen. By Christ, he's going to be tight. By God, he's going to be tight. Go on, George. And George has gone round. He's lost half his block. That's going to gain him a slight advantage. Let's turn as well. Come on now, boys. Big deep. Come on, boys. Keep cheering them on, ladies and gentlemen. Go on, the boys. Go on, Jacko. Yeah, hey, that bencher comes back. What a man. Go on, Martin. One more. Go hey. on, Jacko. Santa Timber, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. There we are, everyone's away. So tune them on, get behind them. Tune them on, then it's got them. She's going to try and keep in front of these guys, keep that advantage. She has got Phil here yeah, going really well. Only been with us the past couple of months. Really putting in a lot of effort. We've got Zaki, he's going like a steam train. And Charlie looks like they're both coming in for their drivers, so they're going to turn. So if you're wondering where this part of the sport originated from, all those years ago, once they'd fell the trees in the wood like we've done with the sand hey, block, the guys would then they'd tee up the timber tank to them, so they'd cut them up like this. On, and that's a, that's a full chainsaw. So one day they adapted it, and that's the new sport we got now. So the guys are doing a pattern where they'll put two hooks on one side, two hooks the other, get to a V and turn and pull these guys out now. So everyone's around. So we've got Zoe down this bottom end, cheer on up out in this corner. Phil up there, looks like he's coming in for a bit of a drive, maybe. Exactly. Oh, Charlie's off. There we go, oh, 
not too far behind, so those guys are nice even match that time. To so cheer the two on down the spot men, we've got Zoe and we've got Phil. Get behind them. Both going well. One first hand there to St. Eleanor. She said we've got a mixture of men's and ladies' teams in this weight class. So on and on route two. Oh yeah, Polden men one route two from Somerset and on route three. They're just doing that. It's a longer clip to Which ones? Oh yeah, those ones. Oh, some more in the shade over there. That's a big one. <laughs> okay, so that's a big one. Yeah, the difference, there is a difference between a llama and an alpaca, and I don't know what it is. His feet like, it's great for toenails. Clothes, hooves, a bit like pig. Oh. Ladies and gents, let's have a big round of applause for Nobby, the Norfolk Horn. Here he comes. <laughs> Nobby, read your name. Read your name. No, up the top. 
That's it. <laughs> Here he is. Now look at this guy here. Now where Nobby comes from in Norfolk, there's actually more churches per square mile than there is anywhere else on the planet. What those churches did many years ago is that they took the fleece off his back and they sold it to the rich Europeans. That gave the church great wealth, took our great country in many different ways. But we know our history. We're cutie. I got a little bit of a soft spot for her and it's not because I'm from North Devon. No, we're going to bring her out. She's actually the smallest sheep that we have here on the sheep show. So let's have a big round of applause for Susie, the Southdown. Here she comes. Hey, Susie. How you doing, my darling? You all right? Good girl. Oh. Uh, the sexiest sheep I know. So let's have a big round of applause for Sam, the Suffolk. Here he comes, yeah. Sam, next round, thank you. Sam. See kids, this is what happens if you don't go to school. You can't read. Ladies and gents, let's have a big round of applause for Belinda, the blue face Lester. Here she comes. Here you go, girl. How you doing? Woo! I got a little mood in my big truck. Here she is. Now this young lady here. Look there on the Highlands of Scotland. Ladies and gents, let's have a big round of applause for Dougal, the Scotch blackface. Here he comes. Hi Dougal. How are you? <laughs> I gotta be a bit careful with Dougal. He doesn't like me very much. He's got a tendency to try and give me a Glasgow kiss. Our hands in the air like we don't care. Let's give him a big round of applause to Lenny, the Lincoln Longwall. Here he comes. Woo! Bally rock! Yeah, man. Woo! Here he is. Look at this guy here. He reminds me of Bob Marley. He's actually a European sheep. Comes from a little island of Holland called Tessel. We call it Texel. So ladies and gents, let's have a big round of applause for Terry. The Texel. Here he comes. Here he is. Look at this guy. How you doing, Terry? You right? Good lad. Now this guy here, he's huge. <laughs> a big round of applause for Harry, the Herdwick. Here he comes. Hey, Harry. How you doing, son? You all right? Good lad. Uh-oh. Right. Are you guys ready? No? You put your wellies on, my darling. You'll be all right. All right? Okay. What I need, kids... really isn't that scary <laughs> right kids are you ready what we're gonna do is I need a countdown from five can you help me with that yeah, yeah here we go then five four three two one <laughs> she's not read the same script I have says that have you put the right one in here you have you're sacked. Right, let's hope. Oh, now we're ready. Are you ready? Here we go. And we're off. And she's going to come out in a minute. Come on. Oh, oh, hello. Here we go. Oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, she took one look at you and she's run away. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Handbrake on. Ah. Okay. Now, it's a. No photos just for a minute, please. <laughs> She worked for the press, madam. 
Yeah, I thought, oh my life. Okay, what we've got to do is we've got to take this sheep out of four wheel drive. Now. Hiya! And it just helps me to stretch that skin out and keep it nice and tight. Now, mums and dads, just bear with me. This sheep is only 12 months old. It is the first haircut that she has ever had. Mums and dads, do you remember your kids' first haircut? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, going, yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't always sit still, do they? And if I let one of these little tootsies touch the floor, it's going to be the fastest tap dancing show you've ever seen, I tell you. Right, okay, so what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to take the belly wool off of this sheep. So, into position between my legs here, pop that leg down through there, turn the clippers on, and we're going to, is my microphone dying? Yeah, sorry. We're going to take the belly wool off of this sheep. Here we go. So, down through. Now, bear in mind, ladies and gents. There, there, try that. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, yeah good. We're going to take the belly wool off, bearing in mind that she has been lying on this belly wool for the last 12 months of her life. So it's going to be covered in things like poo. Try that. There we go. It's going to be covered in things like poo, mud, grass, and all things like that. Now, it's not the best grade wool, but we don't throw it away. What we do is it will go back there. It will get put into a separate pile, and it will be used for things like felt. So, kids, you bear in mind, next time you're using a felt-tip pen, you're using sheep's wool covered in poo. <laughs> now, I did find this under here. Look at that, kids. That's what us calls an ingleberry. This is what happens if you don't use toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready? Let's shoot the rest of this sheep out. So here we go, up the first leg, round here, to what some of you ladies might call the bikini line. Now some of you ladies at the end of this might think actually this chap here, he hasn't done too bad a job. I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks and I could do a bit of a tidy up. Ladies, we're doing a special today, 50p. <laughs> I'll pay you. Okay, sit the sheep up. See how that leg has gone out there. Lovely. In here. Let go. Thank you. Round we go. Break the wool out so we can see what's going on. Round we go. And again. Lovely. Up through the bum. I'll just crack on because you guys can't hear me very well. Wool off the top of the head. Sit the sheep up. Put my leg through there. Up one side of the neck. Break the wool out. Up the other side. Round the back of the head. Make sure we don't touch those ears. Because those ears have got our ear tags in them. Very important. They tell us where this sheep has been. Where it's gone. Where it's going. Because these days, ladies and gents, traceability is very very important step over the sheep up through the back here we go now we're flying normally my bum would end up facing you it's not my best bit so i'm going to turn this sheep around so you can see what i'm doing is it gone completely you can hear me cool sit the sheep up pop her head through there down through this side here we go off we go under the armpit got to make sure we get under there don't want to go in the way looking too European not now we're out down this side here we go and uh, this is the side our shearers like because this is the side we call the money side 
This is the point where I'm nearly finished. And I'm going to get paid for shearing this sheep. And I'm going to get paid £1.50 for shearing this sheep. There she is. Right, let's pop her back in here. It's okay, my darling. It's Told you he's from Suffolk. Here we go. And we're starting off over here. Are you ready, Nobby? Here we go. I'm feeling it, son. There's that tail shimmy. Oh, Belinda. Oh, there we go. Look, there it is. Good lad. Here we go. Come on in, Belinda. Come on, dear. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Look at the tap dancing on this young lady. Bruce Forsyth's got nothing on her. Here we go. Good girl. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Here we go. Right, back you go, Martha. Back you go, back you go. Right then, here we go. We There they are. It's good to see them man so much is. Oh, the nice big cow.
I like these. Oh, look at that one over there. No, I was looking at you. Yeah, it's easy. 